guys, welcome to Jules to Life. This is Jules, and today, don't mind those in the back, that's my pantry stuff. Today, we're gonna be focusing on cleaning out my refrigerator. Again, we've been busy doing renovations, so my, so my house is in this ray, but we're gonna slowly get it together, and I'm starting with the refrigerator. show you okay guys this is everything and back there hiding is my son me son and this is everything that came out I don't know how it all fit in there but it did some of the stuff I didn't even remember I had so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing next all right so here we go Actually, first, I'm gonna get my water together. I'm all up in the camera, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get my water, I'm just gonna put a little bit of soap in with some bleach. Bleach is strong, whatever. I, I have a bleach obsession, I guess. But no, I do like to clean with, be with bleach. To me, it you know, helps to make the place smell fresh or whatever I'm doing, it kills germs. Um, I don't know how much germs it really kills, but anyway, in my mind, it kills something. So, I'm gonna get that water together, and then I am going to start scrubbing. Okay guys, here I have some dish detergent and bleach, and I'm filling it up with hot water. And this is how I'm gonna clean my refrigerator, and I also have some all-purpose spray that I'm gonna use cleaner. So this is what I'm doing right now. Some people use vinegar. I don't really particularly care for the smell of vinegar unless I'm cooking with it or washing my meats, but um, I don't really do vinegar. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna start with the door because it's the cleanest. So I'm gonna do one at a time because it never fails. I can take things apart, but it takes me forever to put it back together. So we're gonna do this simple and easy. We're gonna just take it apart and see stuff still in there. So you gotta clean this out. Normally I clean my fridge once a week, but um, as I said, lately it's been two months and I haven't really cleaned it. Actually, I can take it all easy because it's pretty simple. You just put them in how you really, what you're going to stack in here. So. Okay, so I'm going to spray some stuff in here. And um, let me get my, okay, I'm just using this all-purpose um, Lysol all-purpose cleaner. It smells oh so good. I didn't really want to use this, but I didn't have the lemon fresh one. This is one I have, so I am going to spray it on some of the stubborn little spots in there. Even though I'm going to take out the glass and wash them, I'm just going to spray it to give it, let it soak in a little bit. So I'm just spraying all over. said it's not really that filthy I mean it took me all of two seconds to clean that 
So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest and I'll be back. Okay guys, what I have here, I forgot that I'm not over there near the sink. So I have the water set up in the sink so I could wash these. But I also made a little bit in here to where I'm gonna do like the door and the inside of the refrigerator, stuff that I can't take out. So it's easy to do it over on this side. So I'm gonna start with my doors. Again, I couldn't get this one out. Don't know why. And I don't really want to break it and I know it comes out. There's a method to it and I don't really feel like figuring it out right now. So this one will stay. I got the other two out. So anyway, here we go. Okay, now this is why I don't like taking things apart. And I thought I would remember where it goes. And uh, let's try this one. Oh, this is the one for the top. Whoa. Good hands there. All right, let's try this now. Other way, other way, other way. Rotate it. What do you mean? The clear thing. Oh, oh, duh. That's why it could. No, I got it. That's why this didn't work, because I was trying to do it the other way. It's a lot of work. Okay, be careful people because the glass is actually only sitting in there by those two clips. Now, I'm not gonna touch those clips, but I'm gonna get to clean underneath here. So, we're gonna bring it over to the sink. Now be careful, you do not want your glass to fall out, okay? So we're gonna bring it over here. I get to clean this portion and I'm not gonna, I can take out these drawers. Yes. See, this is simple takeout. But that portion that I just took out, folks, is like the worst. Because you break it and those clips, those clips are very expensive. And you're, I'm gonna close this so the light will come back on. And without that clip, you will have, or that tray, you will have no shelving right here. And your fridge will look hideous. Okay. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish cleaning this out. And then we're gonna start putting stuff back in. Okay, I still can't get this glass out in the water. I mean, I, there's still a spill under there, right? Okay, guys, so we got that all cleaned out, the top portion of the fridge. So now I'm gonna put this shelf back in and the drawers, okay? Remember, I have a separate video that shows you how to take it out and clean it and put it back because it's a little hectic. Now, this again is a Samsung um, French door refrigerator so yours might be a little different but um if you see it looks something like this there's clips in there you have to get those clips to release it okay so we're gonna put this back in how you tell where's the front because you have this right here where you could change if it's fruits or vegetables i believe or whatever um and also remember the clips were in the back 
So we're gonna put them back. Already, it's not locked in, so. <gasps> you broke something. No, I didn't break it. It popped out. The clip popped out. The hell holds the glasses, so I'm just gonna pop it back in. Want to dry it because we're going to put the, the fruits and vegetables in here. And you don't want it to be wet. Okay, go ahead. So it still has a little bit of water in there, but. Nope, that's not incorrect. Okay guys, so I'm putting everything back together and this is the power cord people, looks just like that and this is for the water in the ice maker. So I'm trying to do this and hold the phone, let's see, there we go, uh oh. Okay, folks, it is on. Didn't realize all this stuff is on here. Wow, okay, so the hose is on. I'm gonna flip the lever. Oh. All right, and they said, don't tighten too tight the compressor. Hand tighten, and once with the wrench. So I just kind of hand tighten this, so let's hope all goes well. <laughs> we shall see. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in before I put the refrigerator in place because then I can't get behind here. So now I'm gonna push it in and we're almost in business. First, I'm going to put this stuff back in, and what I'm going to do is wipe them, you know, wipe everything down, throw away whatever is old and that I'm probably not going to use, and reorganize my refrigerator so we actually can see what's in it. So, guys, I'm just going to use some Clorox wipes. I'm just going to wipe down the stuff and put them back in. Um, you know, no rhyme or reason. I'm just cleaning up everything. And I'm gonna get a garbage bag because whatever I don't wanna put in here is going either in compost because my husband does a lot of gardening. 
So whatever leftover food that we're not gonna use, he's gonna use it and feed the soil. So everything else is going in the trash that I don't need or the kids won't eat or it's been old. So let's get started. Okay guys, now I'm all clean. So I'm gonna use this um, Style Selection Stainless Clean Cleaner. I think I got this from Ross, I don't even remember. I use any stainless cleaner to clean. I don't know which is best or not. It's more like, it's like a little foam thing. And it works pretty well. So, clean that up from all the, I already had wiped it down with bleach, so this is just to kind of Shine it up a little bit. Yeah, see? I'm gonna get in here. And then don't forget this part, people. Hope you guys can see where I'm doing the bottom. All right. And we are finished. Took me a while. This is, I have to reset it. So I reset it after I show you how I do that. This is my fridge. I can't see. But those are my shakes. I try to drink at least one a day. 30 grams of protein, and no, I'm not sponsored by Premier Protein. We have some gel, uh, Jello, some yogurt, eggs. That's just some leftover rice, and all the milk. This is my jug of iced tea. And then here, nothing much in there. And what I've done is I've lined in here with paper towel. So in case something spills, yeah, not much in here. I have to go grocery shopping. And then here, and the same thing, I put a little paper towel on there. So, you know, a little extra protection. Now, you might, there might be other things that you can use, but I use the paper towel. And guys, check this out. This is where you store your sliced cheese. Not in there right now, but yeah. Found that at Ross couple years ago and I love it and yeah I need to go grocery shopping people don't judge me and that's it and we make a lot of smoothies so and I also have a deep freezer so this is not everything this is just what's in here these are vegetables on this side some meats and different things over there and some popsicles back here somewhere I can't get to it. But anyway, this is my fridge clean out video and I'm gonna reset that. Hey guys, so to reset this particular fridge, Put that back on. Oh 
bumper was and slammed off. 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 Oh. Ah, don't mind me. So that must be on. We shall see. Alright guys, thanks for watching the Jewels to Life again. Please like, share, and subscribe. And this is just a video of showing you how I cleaned my refrigerator. Thank you, God bless.